Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Georgia here, live from Allendale's trading floor. It is July 20th, 2010. Uh, markets today, we had a, uh, an early push lower in the grains, and we kind of sat there and more steady into the close. But corn ended up 7.5 lower after a big slide yesterday, continuing that pattern here today, 7.5 lower in the September contract. December down 6.5 cents. We did go down to test that 386 support area uh, in that December contract. We did not break through it. That is some good support right now. We'll see if that holds tomorrow. But if we end up breaking below 386, that may pressure things to the downside uh, a little bit quicker. Uh, right now, the easy trade is to buy it right here, and you carry a stop below that support. Uh, so if we end up taking that support out, you're probably going to see some stops being hit. Could trigger us down here a little bit quicker. Uh, as far as beans, beans ended up higher. After being down most of the day, beans ended up a penny today. And a lot of the strength came with, uh, from the bean oil. Bean oil up 44 points. Um, that was very strong. Uh, energies were strong as well. So uh, beans ended up a penny, uh, a penny better. They did, we did have some export sales this morning uh, to China. Uh, for, for the beans, so that kind of carried some support under this as well. The wheat market following corn down about five and a quarter cents today. We ended up closing right about 577 for that September Chicago wheat contract. Uh, we do have some, our next solid area of support below that is 550. So this wheat market has rallied very fast, and we, uh, if we start seeing this ball turn over, you know, we could see a pullback very quickly for wheat as well. Crude oil, 75 cents higher today, so we did see a rally as September is now the lead contract. Uh, that August did go off the board here uh, just yesterday. So September sits at 77.65. That is a pretty solid close here, but it is approaching uh, its, uh, its longer-term downtrend line. So we'll see if that holds tomorrow or not. But it was a strong day today, up 75 cents. The dollar, 23 cents higher. It's been a while since I've been on here saying that the dollar was up, but we did find a recovery uh, up 23 cents. Uh, we do have some pretty decent resistance right now sitting at that 84 level, almost 100 points higher than where we're at right now. Currently, prices are sitting at 82.93, so uh, it, we are right up against that 83 area. Uh, next upside could be almost 100 points higher if we see more bullish uh, news come out here for the dollar. Metals today, big turnaround day. When I sat down this morning, metals were actually lower and making new weekly lows. Uh, we did end up $10 higher for gold. A uh, pretty strong day. Uh, we went down just below the 100-day moving average early, and we used that as a springboard and shot back up to the 1191 area. Uh, so we're back up above that 1190. Now, upside resistance at this point, up near that 1219 to 1220 area. We'll see if we can get some more, uh, some more strength tomorrow. But today's turnaround was actually a very good, uh, very positive day on the chart. We'll see if we can carry that into tomorrow as well. Silver up 16 cents. Uh, we had livestock uh, unchanged in the fats. Feeders were up slightly here today. Uh, but the big movement in the livestock came from the hogs. Uh, you did have hogs down about $1.60 today. More of a technical slide than anything as we pushed into some new lows. I think we hit some stops there and pushed the hogs down rather quick. Um, you know, recently when you see these big moves in the hogs, you find the next day they do recover pretty quick. But I believe that this is more of a technical move today in the hogs, uh, and we have seen some, some pretty significant, uh, uh, well, we took out some pretty good support areas there as well. So we'll see if it holds for tomorrow. Uh, give us a call here with any questions you may have, 800-262-7538. Check us out on the web, allendale-inc.com. Uh, you can find most of this information in our research. Uh, we've got our free trial here. If you, if you guys haven't seen our product, give us a call. We'd be glad to set you up with that and walk you through that online as well. Our brokers are, easy, are eager to help you, so, uh, so give us a call. Once again, the number, 800 262 7538. Hopefully you guys had a great day today and I will talk to you next week. Take